Losing time, I'm fading fast I just wanna make it last Try to let go of the past I close my eyes, embrace the blast Sleepless nights and headaches stack Restlessness to hell and back What's my purpose, what do I grab? A slippery surface, a heart attack And sometimes you just gotta believe There's something that'll give you relief There's something that'll have what you need what you need we're broken it's tragic we're not all elastic but maybe there's magic believe you could have it and i know of sadness the anxious and panic the infinite vastness of all that is blackness Good evening, everybody. You are looking live at Ridgeline High School. We welcome you in for a little 4A soccer. Bear River comes into this one off a region win on Tuesday against Skyview. They come into this one 1-9 one overall. The River Rocks 6-3 overall, and they also stand on top of Region 11. We'll take a look at the RPI standings, how they are sitting right now as we start the second half of region play. Dixie High School undefeated leads the way in 4A. Bears coming up, bringing up the tail end, and Ridgeline sitting in sixth. The only loss that Ridgeline has to in region is to. Uh, Logan. So again, second half of region play getting ready to kick off here. And we like to thank our sponsors for making this possible. We'd like to thank you for your support by watching. Hope you're somewhere warm. As it has turned bitter cold this week here for spring sports.
This advanced broadcast is brought to you by Advanced Integrated Systems, making your smart home even smarter. I'm Dr. Todd Miller has your medical report, and we are glad to say we have nothing to report. You'll be able to see Dr. Miller in a new location and here soon. We'll keep you up to date when he gets opened up. Rear box will control here early. Let's better try to work it back the other way. It'll go out, it'll have a River Hawks throw in. It's a good pick by the Bears. Clear back out. Another throw in coming here for the River Hawks. Turner to throw in, near side. He gets it in, the Bears try to control. Nice give and go, and led a little too far. Trying to go back over to Riley. It'll be a goal kick here for Bear River. Merritt kicks it away. First line controls. Vasquez drops it all the way back here to Dean. Back and forth play on the far side. Rock's now going to push ahead. Hickman works it around. It looks for a shot and a good block by the Bears. I don't know the big stop here for the Bears early in this one. A quick substitution here for the River Hawks. Looks like number 13 is going to come in. That's Cameron Everton. He's a junior. Turner again to throw in near side here for the River Hawks. And this kick going to be back behind the goal. Set up another goal kick here for Bear River and Kaden Merritt. It's about dinner time. It's always a good place at the Grill. Located west of Main Street, Tremont. Penalty will go against Bear River. You could in, enjoy the patio there at the grill. Have your dinner next to a couple bonfires. Or you get it to take and go. There's a shot that goes wide left. Set up another goal kick here for Bear River. Still scoreless. A lot of time left here to go in the first half. Merritt kicks it away, gets it to midfield, headed back the other way by Ridgeline. Now Bear River with the push. Turner tries to center it back up. Bears trying to keep with the control, but it's cleared out by the Riverhawks defense. Ogilvy leaves it off here to Solom. Solom pushes it far side. Flygar pushes it over deep, kicked back by the Bears. The Bears try to control midfield. Turner comes and backs it off here for the River Hawks. They back it all the way back to the keeper. Jensen takes a shot and a block. First shot on here for the Bears and a block for Riley Gabbard. Riley 
Riley with the big kick, controlled at midfield here by the River Hawks. Going on the far side with a header. Guy slows him down. Ogilvy drives in and Merritt slides in and gets the grab. Bears trying to push on the River Hawks half the field. Cleared back out. Throwing coming here for Bear River. Watkins with a quick throw in, trying to go over to Jensen, and it leads him too far. Goal kick coming here for the Riverhawks. Garbert again to kick it off. 34 minutes, a little left to go here before halftime. Diaz with the block. Riverhawks get it cleared on the far side. Pushing it down the sideline. Diaz again slowing him down. A little give and go. Far side with it still here for Ridgeline. Keeps that kick low and Merritt with the grab. Kicking with the win. Gets it all the way back over to Riley. Kicking against the wind, gets it a weak kick, and the wind carries it out of bounds. A throw and coming here for the Bears. Watkins will go shag it. As we'd like to thank Jared Summers for being a great sponsor for Bear River Athletics, keeping you covered at Farmers Insurance for Auto Home and Life. River Hawks. Back on the offensive possession, Jenkins making his way through the crowd, going to get close, leaves it up, and it bounces off the pole and saved by the Bears. It'll be a corner kick here for Ridgeline, but we'll take our first scene on replay. As that got crazy real quick, Jenkins making it through his, the defense with ease. And Ogilvy. Just wasn't in the right spot. And again, cleared out by the Bears defense. Corner kick. They'll keep it down low. This one pushed and grabbed by Kata Merritt. Kyber still fine for possession on the far side. And... Possession stays with the Bears. Say it went out of bounds. Quick throw in. Can get us back going again. This is Butters. Trying to clear it back out to the middle. It's taken away by the Riverhawks. As Guez pushes it ahead a little too far. And a goal kick here for the Bears. Now you'd like to thank Kent's Market for your one-stop shop for fresh produce. Deli Bakery and a pharmacy all under one roof. That's one stop shop there at Kent's Market. Easter candy at a good price. Can't get enough of that. Gines, Giants pushes it away. Diaz tries to save it. Riverhawks is able to stay with, and this one's going to go up and over the goal for another goal kick here for Bear River. Flygar with that attempt. We'll just get right under 31 minutes. Now left to go here in the first. Still scoreless. Here at Ridgeline. Goal kicks controlled by Ridgeline. Keeping the pressure on here for the Bears. Push over far side. Trying to go back middle. Nobody can clean it up. And this kick goes wide right. That one attempted by Salome. At midfield, get a header on, another one. And Ridgeline 
Tries to control. We'll let him play on. Salome pushes to the far side here for the River Hawks, trying to work it back to the middle. Jenkins trying to make it through the defense. They clear back out. Boone trying to get it further away. He's stripped up of the ridge line throw in far side. Flygar looking for somebody to throw into. He gets it in. River Hawks work it down the sideline, far side. Ogilvy gets it to the corner. Gonna run out of room. Trying to work it out of the corner. And good defense by Norton. This is back to a goal kick here for Caden Merritt. Keys of the game here for the Bears was keep possession. Something we haven't seen much here early on in this one. And with possession, it comes with controlling the ball as well. It's cleared out by a ridge line. Bearber will have possession. Diaz goes and shags this one down. It's a crazy time in the real estate business. You need a whole team behind you, it seems like, in this buying and selling of land or home. If you're in the midst of it, give Gary Mazin a call. Caldwell Banker, two guy realtor, him and his team are there to help. Ekman with a big pass over here to the near side. Diego moves it to the middle, looks for a shot, and it's going to go wide left. A lot of shots on here for Ridgeline, going one way or another of the goal. Still time to get your orders in, your Easter orders in there at the pie dump. Time running out, you can get hot rolls. Good throw in here for the Bears, but the control will be by Ridge line as they try to work it back the other way. Butters keeps it down here for the Bears. Good pass. Over to Butters. Excuse me, Watkins over to Butters. Good defense here by Ridge line. Drop back over to Watkins and deflected out by Ridge line. Barber keeps with the possession. 27 minutes left to go here in the first quarter, or first half, excuse me. Watkins with the throw and into Butters. Can't get ahead on it. Ridgeline clears it out. Diaz trying to get it through this defense. Hickman trying to get a pass. And Diaz, and they both hit the turf. Get possession here to Bear River on a throw in. Pants Integrated Systems doing more than just home theater systems. They do outdoor lighting, security systems, remote control blinds. You want your house to do it just by a touch of a button. They can figure out a way to make it happen. They're at AIS. Flygar with a throw in here for Ridgeline. Drop it back and then he'll give it the big boot downfield. We'll roll out of bounds, give it back to the Bears. But in Bear River territory now. Throwing in to Diaz and he can't keep it inbounds. So I'll give it back here to Flygar and the River Hawks. Flygar with the throw in. Big kick to set it up. 
bouncing a little too far. And Merritt able to scoop it up. Riverhawks drop it back over to Gavert, and now he'll scoop it up. Wait for traffic to clear before he kicks this one away. Garbert with a <laughs> kick. In against the wind. Gets it to hat midfield, though. Salome with a push. Diego saves it from going out. Able to run it down. Put up a shot off the top bar. And it will be out. And a throwing coming here for the Bears. Quick announcement. The uh, snack stand is open on the south end of the stadium. They've got hot chocolate, hot dogs, all kinds of good stuff down there to keep you warm. You and a throw in here for the Bears far side. Try to get it into Diaz, taken away by the River Hawks. Good still by Gines. He'll clear it out here for the Bears. Throwing coming for the River Hawks. And a substitution here for both teams. Oh, just the River Hawks. Checking in for the River Hawks, number 14, Ryan Johnson. Center back up, overshot. Watkins clears it out here for the Bears. River Hawks still with the pressure. Salome tries it to the far side, and Diego can't keep that one down. In possession, back over to the Bears. River Hawks get a couple heads on it. Butters with a kick sent back by Ridgeline. It goes out. They're only coming here for the Bears. Norton to throw in about midfield, far side. And another clear out here for Ridgeline. Cameron coming up and giving that one the big boot. Hunter Giants to throw in here for the Bears, far side. Again, just pushed a little too far, was headed to Ryan Johnson. But Merritt scoops it up, kicks it away, and they'll drop it all the way back here to Riley. He'll scoop it up. Sloan keeps it in here for the River Hawks. Watkins with the steal. They'll come back the other way. Watkins tries to center it up, looking for Jensen. And Ridgeline clears it back out. Salome with the push to cross the field, far side. Ridgeline going baseline, trying to look around and loses control of it. It'll be a corner kick here for Ridgeline. Garrett Jenk Jenkins, excuse me, is, looks to be the one to come to the corner kick, but last time they just kept it on the ground. they elect to do here. And he'll just hand it off over to Diego. Diego with a good fake. 
pushes it even further, gets to the middle and through everybody and it'll roll out. Set up another goal kick, Salom. Couldn't tap that one in. Bowen checks back in here for the Riverhawks. Johnson with a fight. Braxley Hale doing a great job here on defense. Here for the Bears, another clear out. Shines clears it out. Here's Flygar and Jensen trying to battle it out. Flygar works it down the sideline, far side. Pushes it over to the middle. And Boone with a great defensive stop. And breaking that one up. Turner to the middle. Trying to go to Diego far side. Can't control it. Kicked away. Over to Jensen. Kyver. So it's the defense back over to Butters. Tries to go back over to Jensen. Kyver. Gonna have to split the defense and can't fit in between him. He'll hit the turf. And Ridgeline clears it out. Throwing coming here for the Bears far side. I'd like to thank Cover Up for being a great sponsor. And for Bear River Lab and Bear River Athletics, if you are in need of custom screen printing or embroidery, they do that on Main Street in Tremont and Brigham City at Cover Up. Norton with a throw in. Controlled by Salom. Salom works it back the other way. Norton denies. Trying to get it back over to Butters. Flyguard with a steal. He'll try to work it back down the far sideline. He has with a steal and a whistle. Giving it back to. Ridgeline here on a throw in far side at about midfield. I'd like to thank Sotofix. You can always go get your fix at Sotofix. They're sponsoring your player or play of the game. Also, home runs for baseball and softball. The rain has decided to fall here at Ridgeline High School as it gets deflected out, given back to the Bears on the possession. 17 minutes left to go here before halftime. not as definite as what the snow was yesterday for baseball. Turner breaks it up in for Ridgeline. He'll get it back. Salome goes far side of Diego. Pushed ahead now to Jenkins. Puts up a shot off the top bar again. Nope, they say off the goal post for football. So that'll be a goal kick here for Bear River. We were walking out on the field earlier and substitution before this one gets kicked off. Substitution here for Ridgeline. It looks like number nine. Darian Ogilvy. Diego. The one being subbed out here for Ridgeline. Bears just keep everybody in. Kyver far side with it. Trying to control here for the Bears. Gets it up middle and then cleared right back out by the Riverhawks defense. It'll be Bears to throw in far side. 15 and a half minutes left to go here in the first half. Daxton with the throw in and deflected out again by the Riverhawks. Bowen last to touch it. So we'll reset here at about the 15 minute mark now. Daxton Gines waits for Bears to set up. And last to
last touch by Butters. Hey, if you're looking to invest or retire, you got to have a plan, and that plan starts with talking to Hootie Roach there at Lincoln Financial. He's the man that can get you the plan to do what either you need to do financial wise. Ogilvy clears it out here for the Riverhawks. Turner now pushes it up ahead. Here to Sloan. He's trying to go here to Bowen, but it's cleared back out. Turner to throw in. Near side here for the Riverhawks. This one kicked and deflected out again here by the Bears defense. A quick throw in here to John Jenkins. Deflected away. And can't keep it in on the far side. It'll be Bear River throwing. Diaz goes and shags it out. Hey, American Secure Title has been bought out by U.S. Title. They're your goal sponsors here for Bear River Soccer and Boys and Girls Lacrosse. We'll have a couple more of their games next week. You can go check out our website for our full schedule. Of course, always depending on weather. The big clear out here for Ridgeline. Giants turns it back the other way. Salome controls. Looks to the middle. Goes all the way back over to Turner, near side. Turner will get it back, but not quite on the same page. It's cleared out here by the Bears. Tomlinson will clear it out. Just under 13 minutes left to go. And Tyler looking here for the Riverhawks. Tries to lead his guy. Johnson leads them a little bit too far and a goal kick coming here for the Bears. I'd like to thank KSLSports.com. You can go down there, download their app, the Jazz and the Playoffs. Keep up to date on what's going on there. Their game will actually be Saturday morning. I think about like 11 or 11.30. You could even be watching this game on the KSL Sports app. Riley back the other way Here for the Riverhawks. Diaz trying to play a little defense. Gets it still away. Uh, they're going to say a little too much contact. Give it back here to Ridgeline, far side. No crossfield with it back over to Turner. Quick shot back over to Bowen. Johnson backs it off. Back over to Turner. Turner going to clear it all the way back. Now the big kick. Set something up offensive wise here for the Riverhawks. Sloan. We'll have to give it up back over to the Bears. Whistle called against Ridgeline for the infraction. Hunter Giants with the big kick. Gets it back into Ridgeline territory. Bears trying to stay with far side. Butters trying to work it through this defense. Ridge line. Just deny, deny, deny here for the Bears. Bowen controls, sends over to Tyler. Near side, back over to Bowen. Just trying to look for the give and go, backs out of it. Sloan turns it back the other way. Tries to get it past the defense. And a penalty will go against the Riverhawks. Keep the possession here with the Bears. Just under 10 and a half minutes left to go here in the first. We'd like to thank Greer's Do Best Hardware. Getting your spring list, honeydew list done since 1976 here in the Valley. Tom and his team do a great job there at Greer's Do Best Hardware.
Big kick, led Jensen too far. This ball's gonna roll even uh, faster than it would usually here on turf, now that it, it's all wet. Ball drop and controlled. Jenkins with a far side. With the pass, try to go back middle, deflected by the Bears. Goal kick, or corner kick coming, excuse me, here for Ridgeline. Also a couple substitution as well. Looks like Diego coming back in as well as number six, Trent Godfrey. So long, I'm going to take a breather here for Ridgeline. We set up for the corner kick. Pass over to, to Diego. Diego, another good move. Puts it in low and gets it to squeeze right past Merritt. And there's your first goal. Ridgeline will strike first here in the first half. At almost the nine minute mark. Diego Vasquez. We'll take a CNR replay look just in the crowd. We'll take another CNR replay look. Sneaky, sneaky. Ridgeline gets up by one. Again, 9.01 left to go here in the first. Bears want to answer back quickly. Possession still undecided. Now the Bears control it here. Kyver, Kyver Jensen, far side, gets a pass. So the defense, a little breathing room. Tries to put it up quick, and it's blocked away. Diaz with a big kick and a stop by Riley, and he can't keep it in bounds. It'll set up Berber's first corner kick here in this one. Tomlinson will go shag it out there in the corner. We'd like to thank again all our sponsors and you for hopping on and supporting us by watching. We'll be here next week covering the Lady Bears softball. Big kick in and the clear out by the Riverhawks. Diego with a far side and a block here by Merritt. Good idea by the Riverhawks. They had two guys run in the middle. Controls here for the River Hawks. Push it back the other way. Good block here for the Bears. Bowen again with it. Pushes it far side this time. Hunter with time. He's going to let it just roll out. Set up a goal kick here for the Bears. Seven minutes left to go here before halftime. River Hawks. It's the first goal just three minutes ago. And they will give it back to the Riverhawks on the far side throw in. Diego again. Trying to work it in. This time snagged up by Merritt. Johnson will kick it out. Throwing back here for the Bears near side. Bears will actually have a substitution this time, also with the River Hawks. Garrett Jenkins back in here for Ridgeline and back in for the Bears, Austin Watkins. Throwing here for the Bears. 
Looks like going to be controlled here by Ridgeline, but Watkins pushes the issue down the far side. Butters trying to turn it back the other way. Here's Bone with it in the middle here for Ridgeline. He'll drop it back. Chase it over to the far side. Flygar's kick going to be blocked. Turns it back the other way here for the Bears. Diego pushes it ahead here for Ridgeline. And this one right in front of the goal will go out of bounds. Far side to the right. Keep the score tied at 1-0. Just under five minutes left to go. A lot of throwing coming here on the almost at the corner. Here for Bear River. Hell with the throwing. Possession will go back here to Ridgeline. Turner looking to throw in under four and a half. Gets it into Bowen. Bowen trying to control. Popped over. Here's Diego with a big kick that goes up and over everybody. And a goal kick coming here for the Bears. Hey, looking to refinance. The rates are starting to go up but better get them in lock them in when you can there with academy mortgage and a bunch of great people there that can make the process seem a lot easier than it should be far side fly guard goes to the ground with it gets back up it stays in control here for the river hawks and a block here by diaz Kyber Jensen comes in, tries to take over possession. Couldn't get a head of steam going there for Jensen. Now the flag are back with it. We'll push ahead here to Diego, but cleared out by Hunter Gines. Flag are again to throw in far side. Push to the middle and not able to control for Ridgeline. It'll be a goal kick coming here for Kaden Merritt. Time running out here in the first half. Merritt, his kick gets headed back here by Ridgeline. Hunter turns it back the other way, but can't keep it in play. It'll be a throw and coming again for the Riverhawks. Flygar. Short throw in. Gets it knocked back to him. Another throw in. Again by Flygar. Bowen calling for it here in the middle. Winds it up, puts up a kick, and it goes. Wide right. Another substitution here for Bear River. So we wait for some balls to get shagged. Rain is stopped. And forth, Bowen now finally controlling it here for Ridgeline, but he drops it all the way back here to the Riverhawks area. Back over to Turner. Boone. Or Bowen, excuse me. Kicks it back into play, keeping it with here for Ridgeline. Bowen again, back out far side. This is Diego. Flagger, excuse me. Defended by Ritter and Ritter 
Breaking it up and a whistle against Ridgeline, giving it back. Good defense there by Jackson Ritter. Ridgeline able to control with a good move. Jenkins gets past one defender. Going to outrun the other one, but a soft kick over to the goal. Merritt will kick this one away. And that's going to be halftime here at Ridgeline with the Riverhawks with a 1 0 lead. Bears will try to make some adjustments get back into this one for the second half we're going to thank some of our sponsors for making this possible and we'll have second half for you when we come back here at ridge lion high school tanglewood studios has something for everyone whether it's dance cheer color guard or gymnastics there's even recreational all boys gymnastics along with mom and me classes enjoy co-ed hip-hop classical ballet point contemporary jazz along with karate and parkour Tanglewood is a USAG licensed gym offering bars, beam, vault, and a spring floor. Mom and Me and Toddler classes are offered in music, dance, and gymnastics. Tanglewood Tots Preschool includes dance, gymnastics, music, and live sports. Singing classes, guitar, and musical theater are also offered. Family rates are available, so come join the fun. Soup's on at the grill Monday through Saturday. With a new tasty soup every day, you can pick up lunch or dinner all week long. Find out which flavor is your favorite by picking up a small bowl for $3.99 or make it a large for $5.99. Kent's is your one-stop shop for fresh produce, bakery items, deli, and meat. Stop by today for fast, friendly service. Pydump's monthly steakhouse dinner is held every third Saturday of the month from 5 to 8 p.m. Call ahead to reserve your spot or get your order to go. Each month they feature delicious food with options for the whole family. Whether you're buying or selling, let the dedicated professionals at Caldwell Baker help you save time and money. For all your embroidery and screen printing needs, whether for business or just for fun, stop by Cover Up in Tremont or Brigham. At Cover Up, yeah, we can do that. IPG, we take pride in being a global leader in protective packaging. IPG Tremont has won the Industry Week magazine's Best Plants Award twice. How can we achieve this? It's our people. With top pay and self-paced promotions, IPG is a place you can get ahead. Excellent benefits like low health care premiums, low deductibles, 401k match, and free life insurance. The plant is warm in the winter and air-conditioned in the summer. Uniforms or smocks are not required. Wear what you like. Come join a winning team with all the values you care about. Come work with us at IPG. Stop in any time or look us up on the web at itape.com. American Secure Title is this season's goal sponsor. Give Jenny Gorian a call and she will provide you with a legacy of service for all your title and escrow needs. Want to work for a great company? Then check out West Liberty Foods in Tray Mountain. They are currently hiring with open positions in the warehouse, machine operators, and general production. Pay is $15.85 entry level on first shift and $17.35 entry level on second shift. 
Higher rates are available for warehouse and machine operators. Apply today. Whether it's drinks or treats, get your fix at Soda Fix. Think of Greer's Hardware for all your spring cleaning needs. Whether your project is inside or outside, they have you covered. Rudd Funeral Home is there to serve your family in your time of need. Lincoln Financial specializes in estate, investment, and retirement planning, as well as business benefits. At Lincoln, they are totally impartial, comb through different options to create financial products a person needs. Lincoln Financial, big city service, small town care. Let Academy Mortgage help you get into the home of your dreams. Give them a call today. Great Basin Industrial has been building America with epic safety and quality since 2007, specializing in steel fabrication, machining, and paint. GBI engineers, ships, installs, and repairs a wide range of products. They design and build all steel and alloy work according to the highest industry standards. Let GBI help you get your project completed on time and on budget. If you're looking for work, join GBI's team for a great work environment, competitive pay, and benefits. In the mood for a burger and fries? Look no further than the grill. They have plenty of mouth-watering options for everyone. Stop by for lunch or dinner and complete the meal with a tasty dessert. Market is always farm fresh. During this time, we are able to stay stocked and keep our produce quality because we source our produce from a variety of vendors. Market Farm Fresh. Want a break from the grill has a wide variety of homemade appetizers. Can't decide what to get? Then build an appetizer combo. No matter what you're craving, the grill has you covered. For all your embroidery and screen printing needs, whether for business or just for fun, stop by Cover Up in Tremont or Brigham. At Cover Up, yeah, we can do that. Whether you're buying or selling, let the dedicated professionals at Caldwell Banker help you save time and money. 
the KSL Sports app, powered by kslsports.com. Connecting you with all the jazz action, the dunks, buzzer beaters, and ankle breakers, podcasts from the pros, and in-depth analysis. Download the free KSL Sports app today. American Secure Title is this season's goal sponsor. Give Jenny Gorian a call and she will provide you with a legacy of service for all your title and escrow needs. Want to work for a great company? Then check out West Liberty Foods in Tremonton. They are currently hiring with open positions in the warehouse, machine operators, and general production. Pay is $15.85 entry level on first shift and $17.35 entry level on second shift. Higher rates are available for warehouse and machine operators. Apply today. Here to Ridgeline High School. Riverbox with a lead 1 0. And we'd like to thank all our sponsors for making this broadcast possible. We'd like to thank you for hopping on and watching as well. Support us that way. Ridgeline gets the single goal here by Diego Vasquez. About nine minutes left to go in the first half. He netted one. Or I guess sneaked one in against Merritt. Bears will start with the possession this time, but quickly taken away here by Flygar here on the near side. Diego with the push ahead to Salome. And crossed over. And nobody to capitalize on that. It'll be a goal kick here for the Bears. Again, you could be watching this game on kslsports.com. Go download the KSL Sports app. Keep up to date on everything sports here in the state of Utah. Merchant still controls far side, keeping it in. Turning the corner, trying to work it back into the middle. And a kick, and another goal here for Ridgeline. Salome. Gets goal number two here for the Riverhawks. We'll take a CNR replay look. Again, we'd like to thank CNR Trailer Sales for being your replay sponsor all season long. Second goal of the game, scored by Kareem Salome. Salome coming up right here. Just saw uh, clearing his opportunity and took it. Pushes the lead 2 0 here for the Riverhawks. Fly guard. Controls. Got guys on the wing, but cuts through the defense. He's going to take a shot, and Merritt pins it to the ground, and a good stop here by Kata Merritt. Ridgeline still with. Gines with a good defensive stop, sends it out far side. Watkins chase it down. And a last touch by Ridgeline. It'll be a throw in. Nope, they're going to give it back to Ridgeline. Their quick throw in goes over to Diego. Centers it back up here to Salome. Salome deflected off a bear of a bear. So that'll set up a corner kick here for Ridgeline. Again, we like to thank Greer's Do It Best Hardware. Getting your honeydew list checked off here in the springtime. All right, Greer's do it best hardware. So Home and Diego back here for the corner kick. A little give and go. Now sent to the middle. Ball still alive and another one deflected off Bear River. So we'll reset here in the near corner. 
looking for Ridgeline for another corner kick. Chicken in for the Riverhawks. Will be number six, Trent Godfrey. Salom will take a breather here on the bench. Jenkins now in the corner here with Diego. Still backs it out. Flygar with the kick and it goes wide right. Merritt will have the corner kick here for the Bears. Don't forget about the Easter candy this weekend. Get it there at Kansas Market, your one stop shop. Refreshed produce, bakery, deli, and pharmacy all under one roof. Defense denies. Clears it out back over to the River Hawks. Part of the field. Originally gonna swing it over. And send it back here to midfield. Godfrey gives it off. Jenkins. Playing tough. He's gotta back it out. Under Giants still on his tail. Good move by Jenkins. Jenkins to the middle. Diego in the clearing. Can't get a pass from Merritt this time with a good stop. The whistle goes against Bear River. Flygar comes in to get us back in play. And Kareem getting ready to check back in here for Ridgeline. Flygar with a big kick. Set something up and deflected away. Bears clear it out. Kyber on the far side. Watkins can't get it past the defense. Ridgeline back with it the other way. Flygar sends it over here to the middle. And this one going to get past Merritt. Off the fingertips. Another goal here for Ridgeline. Darian Ogilvy takes a shot. And Merritt just unable to keep that one from going in. We'll take a CNR replay look. And just off the fingertips of uh, Merritt. A 3 0 lead now here for Ridgeline. A whistle against the River Hawks. Keeps the possession with Bear River. Defense will just clear this one out. Ridgeline to throw in in front of their bench. Flygar with a quick throw in. Salome, check back in here for Ridgeline. Gets it back over here to the middle. Now they push it out far side. Turner, looking in the middle. Here's Diego. Cross back over to Flygar. Flygar with a shot blocked. And this one goes up and over the goal this time here for the River Hawks. Goal kick. Get a merit. Trying to go back over to the middle. And this one will be last touch by Bear River. Throwing coming here for the River Hawks. Hickman checks back in for Ridgeline. Throw 
throwing coming. Another throw in. Last touch here by Bear River. Fly guard to shag it. Again, we like to thank Pytum. Can't think of Bear River High School without thinking about the Pytum across the street here from the high school. Famous for hot rolls and gravy, but also have a lunch menu as well. Jenkins trying to get it back to the middle of the field. It's deflected around and last touched by Ridgeline. So we'll have a goal kick. Under three and a, 33 and a half minutes left to go. Bears got a long ways to catch up. Down 3-0. Ogilvy trying to get it past Giants. He denies. Staying with, and Giants again. This one cleared out. Corner kick coming here for Ridgeline here on the near side. And we'd like to thank Academy Mortgage for being a great sponsor here for Bear River Athletics. Trudy Hatch has got a great team there. Take care of your mortgage needs, also refinance. Along with a big kick, back over to the middle, a good header by the Bears. Here's Jensen to clear it the rest of the way out for the Bears. Bears with a fast break down the far sideline, pass over to Butters, and it's going to roll out of bounds. Now ridge line to go shag it, they'll have the throw in. Broadcast brought to you, or this advanced broadcast of Spring Sports brought to you by Advanced Integrated Systems. If you're watching this game, you could be watching it even better with AIS. Infraction going to be called against Bear River. Ridgeline will keep with the possession. Flyguard will take over for the River Hawks. Sloan actually with a kick. In the middle, and the Bears defense denies. Jensen saves it from going out on the far side, defended by Turner. Kyver going to use some speed, split the defense, now pushed ahead. And last touch by Ridgeline. Lee Folson slides that one out, throwing coming. And they say for Riverhawks. Ridgeline with a throw in. Here's a header. Possession to stay with. Ridgeline already with the lead 3 0. So we get almost to the 30 minute mark here in this one. Hickman gets it cleared out. Another good block here by the Bears defense, finishing clearing it out far side, Tyler Boone. Morris Liberty Foods is hiring for all three shifts. Competitive pay and plenty of good insurance there at West Liberty Foods as might have our first Miller Medical moment. It's one of them things, wrong place, wrong time. Take a 
seeing our replay. Paxton Gines, a senior, able to walk off the field. Go check him out. Just hopefully for precautionary. Get him back in this one. Walk-ins checking back in here for the Bears. And actually a red card given now here to Hunter Giants. So another substitution here for the Bears. Jackson Ritter checks back in here for the Bears. Big kick over by Merritt. Bears control far side. Trying to get it back over to Jensen. Stolen away by Turner. Butters pushes this one ahead. Nobody there to take advantage of that one. Scooped up by Riley. Back over here to Flygar. Work it down the field. There's Hickman. Cross midfield. Back over to Flygar. Flygar still with and now cleared out by the Bears defense. Good save here on the near side. Trying to work it back to the middle. Deflected off the Bears. Throwing coming here for Ridgeline. Under 28 and a half minutes left to go here in the ball game. I'd like to thank Twisted Sugar for being a great sponsor. 18 flavors, all there in your flavors of the month. It's going to be carrot cake and raspberry pretzel. This one going to be kicked out. Give him back here to Ridgeline. Flygar throws in here for Ridgeline. Jenkins goes to center it. Not in time. Cleared out again by the Bears. Butters past midfield. Gets there and then a stop. Whistle to go against Butters and the Bears get the position back here to Ridgeline. Looking for welders, machinists, and laborers there at Great Basin Industrial. Also benefits available there in Plymouth. Jenkins, another one pushed ahead, and this one pushed too far over to the left. Goal kick coming. Darian is looking for goal number two, just pushed it a little too far. There it takes hits, kick to the far side, and Bear's not able to keep it in. Turner with the throw in. And Ridgeline to stay with. Tyler Turner again to throw in. 26 minutes left to go here in the ball game. Bears trail 3-0. I think it's with a kick into the center, a header that pops it up and over the goal. Another goal kick coming here for Bear River. Bowen. No, number seven, Tate Hickman. Got the head on that. I 
All right, now goes near side here with this goal kick. Hickman crosses over to the far side. Jenkins works it back over to the middle, tries to split the defense. Still gathered up by Ridgeline. Godfrey with the kick. He's going to have another shot at it. Tries to work for a little bit more space and now finally cleared out by Bear River. Kyver comes back for it. Got some room and some speed. Led a little too far on that one. Bear stay with. Far side. And they kicked out. Last touch by the River Hawks. So a throwing coming here for the Bears. Another throwing coming here for the far side. Bears can't push it back onto the field. It goes out of bounds. Throwing coming again far side. This time for the River Hawks, and a substitution comes in for them. It's the junior Bowen. Turn to throw in. Pygar able to take over on the possession. He gets it back, sent back to the middle. Denied by the Bears' defense. Cleared out, throw in coming. Here again for Ridgeline. 23 and a half minutes left to go here in the ball game. River Ox with the lead, 3-0. They have a big game coming up here against Mountain Crest. I should split the tiebreaker here for first place in region. Another clear out here for the Bears. And a big thanks to Hootie Roach at Lincoln Financial getting spring sports covered. Again, we'll have a lot more for you next week. This one will wrap actually our coverage up for the week. We'll hit it again right back here on Tuesday for Lady Bears softball. A big region matchup with the River Hawks and Lady Bears. This one off the side pole. Gold kick coming here for Bear River. Again, a reminder that American Secure title is no more. It's now a U.S. title. But Jenny Goring is still there. Help you with your title needs. To thank her for being a great sponsor for Bear River Athletics and the goal sponsor here for soccer, boys and girls lacrosse. Possession given back to the Bears after the infraction call. Bears want to push. Time start not to be your friend. You're down by three. Salome pushes ahead over the far side. Now kick middle. And John able to keep it into play. This is Johnson trying to work it back. Cleared again out by the Bears defense. Good block by Watkins. Kyber far side. He's got a little bit of room. He's going to close in fast and Poked and a steal going back the other way. Olsen with a steal here for the River Hawks. Jenkins on the far side gets a pass for one defender. And not on the same page as everybody else. Scooped up by Merritt.
Butters fights it through a crowd. This one kicked right back over to Bears territory. Flygar scoops in, saves it from going out, works it into the near side, now back middle. Get another denial here by the Bears defense. Kyber not able to catch up to that. It'll be a throw in here for Ridgeline. At about midfield. Johnson. Here's a push. Goes the opposite direction with that pass. Gets deflected off, but Jenkins able to scoop it up, keep it with Ridgeline on the far side. Gets a pass a couple defenders, and they'll call a penalty on Jines. Let me kick on the far side here for Ridgeline. 19 minutes left to go here in this wood. Bears trail 3 0. Can't wait back to thank you for joining us. I'd like to thank Entertain Polymer Group. Also looking to hire with competitive competitive wages and benefits and a com comfortable good working environment there at Intertape Polymer Group. Shot to the middle and deflected right back out by the Bears defense. Throwing coming here for Ridgeline. Quick throwing into Jenkins. Jenkins with a pass over to Diego. Push that one a little bit too far away from him. Here's Butters. Far side trying to look for Kyver. And that pass going to be kicked away and Merritt not able to keep that one in. Let's it go. I thought he had touched it. I think so did Ridgeline fans. But goal kick coming here for the Bears. Flygar. He leaves it off here to Diego. Johnson. Spins it back. This is Sloan. Sloan, far side. Headed back over to the middle. Was looking for Diego. Chance with a little clear out. Now back over to this other side. Flygar able to scoop it up. Gets past Watkins in this kick. Wide left. back over to Gavert. Swings it over far side. And a throw and coming here for the Bears. They're going to try to move a little bit quickly now. Here on Ridgeline's half of the field. Unable, uh, unable to stay with possession. Bowen crosses it over. Watkins. Scott can't split the defense. It's taken away here by Ridgeline. Bowen over to Flygar. Flygar leaves it here to Diego. Diego to the middle. Jenkins sets it up and Johnson a little out of position. To get the rebound. Here's the one popped up and Merritt holding well, on, snagging that one out of the air. Big throw over to Kyver. A 
Whistles against the Bear River. And Jensen trying to fight for possession. The whistle goes against the Bears. Here's Turner pushing it down the sideline, far side. Jenkins kick will be caught by Merritt. Now under 15 minutes left to go. Bowen tries to get it back here from Johnson. It's alone back over to Johnson. Johnson gets it poked away from him off of steel here for the Bears. Kyber looks to make a move on the far side, brings it back in, and a whistle against Ridgeline. Get called for the slide tackle coming from behind as we hit the 14 minute mark. Left to go in the ball game. Rocks with a 3 0 lead. Gaines sticks a shot at this one. Garvert with the grab and the big kick. Now kicking with the win. That's a boomy kick all the way back over to Merritt. We'll have to correct ourselves. It looked like a red card that was given. Have been yellow. There's Salome pushing it back. Jenkins up and over everybody, and a goal kick coming here for Bear River. We do apologize for getting that wrong. Another minute's gone by. Here's Bowen in the middle with the ball for Ridgeline. Gets it deflected away. Here's Watkins. Man, Boone staying with, or Bowen staying with. Pushes it to the corner. And this one will roll out. Goal kick here for Bear River. Flygar with the throw in here for Ridgeline. Another good move by Diego. Gets it past two defenders. Swings it out. Sends it ahead. Merritt taps it away and a wide open goal. And Ridgeline will take advantage of the open goal. Number 14, Ryan Johnson. We'll take he. DNR replay. It's a four nothing ball game. Here with the eleven forty two left to go. Bowen sets up, takes a kick, tries to get it to drop in, but it gets over the goal post.
Kid Amara gets us going again here with the goal kick. Richland trying to force it back the other way. Now cleared out by the defense. Fly guard controls. I get it poked away from him. Good move on the Bears cross in midfield. Down the near side. Butters tries to send it forward. Here's a kick from Kyra Jensen. Right to the gut of Gabbert. Riley boots this one back the other way. And it will roll out of bounds. The throwing coming here for Bear River. Almost getting to ten and a half minutes so left to go here in this one. Norton with a throw in and this one kicked out. Norton again. Johnson gets it in a clearing. Pushed ahead, back over to the middle and blocked away. Yeah, with good defense again. Here yeah, for the Bears. We'll have another goal kick here in the near side. Keep it low over to Flygar and his kick up high. Thank Chinshare Sod Farms for being a sponsor here for Bear River Athletics. Get your sod, get your grass looking this green as this turf out here. Even though it kind of looks like ice. Go through the lens. Or you can get your watering tips. We will be probably in another drought season if we don't see a lot more moisture. You can go get those tips at chanshare.com. A few substitutions here for both teams. Better we can't keep it in on the far side of throwing coming here for Ridgeline. And Turner wants that one back. Slips out of his hands on a throw in. Here's Butters trying to push it ahead here to Kyber Jensen. Kyber drops it back. Here's the big kick ahead. And this one will just simply bounce out. A goal kick here for Ridgeline. Jenkins with a near side. Turns the corner, gets baseline, and Merritt going to the ground, scooping that one up. Seven and a half minutes left to go. Bears trail now 4 0. And this one kicks out. Love another throw in here for Ridgeline. Tyler Turner going to go shag that one out. Again, we'd like to thank CNR Trailer Sales for being your replay sponsor all season long. Get your trailer ready or need an upgrade. They got you covered there as well as seeing our trailer sales. Bowen pushes this one ahead and a trip up by Gines. It'll be still with Ridgeline.
preview miss kicks and deflected out here by the Bears. They'll set up a corner kick here for Ridge Line. Diego controls and deflected right back out here by the Bears. Bowen to go check it down again. Under five and a half. I'd like to thank Rudd's funeral home. There for you when you need them the most. Doing a great job in your time of need. Merritt ready to kick this one away. Just under five minutes left to go here in this one. Bear Trail 4-0. Flagger out of nowhere headed this one out. Bears will have to hurry and shag that one back in play. Again, this uh, as a reminder, we'll be wrapping our coverage up for this week here tonight. Be right back at it with more softball, baseball, and lacrosse next week. Bowen with a couple good moves. Keeps it low. Blocked away and sent right back in on the rebound. You're going to say offsides, so it'll wipe the points away. 4-0 will still be the score. We'll take a scene in our replay of it anyway, as they call. Darian Offsides. Couple big kicks now controlled by Flygar. Bears will have the quick throw in here on the near side. Almost the three minute mark now as it gets headed right back out by Ridgeline. Now the throw in in front of the Riverhawks bench. Here for the Bears. Bears will just work it down the field on throw ins here on the near side. Our guys to throw in. Bowen gets it back to midfield and then Bears unable to stay with the possession. A throw in coming now for Ridgeline. Jenkins with a big kick. Popped up and over the goal as Merrick comes out to defend and Diego will get goal number two here this evening. Merritt coming way out. Diego just with the pop. 2.05 left to go in this one as the Riverhawks extend the lead 5-0. He netted one in the first half, gets a second one here in the second. Here's a throw over to Flygar here from Riley and Riverhawks unable to keep that one inbounds. Throwing coming here for the Bears, quickly throwing. Butters to the middle. And
and a whistle. This one will go against Ridgeline, but we might have another medical Miller medical moment this time for Ridgeline. Darren the injured Riverhawk tweaked his tweaked his knee maybe no he's he's stretching it out maybe it is a cramp again he's up there smiling opportunity here to spoil the shutout here for the Riverhawks this is Kyber Jensen with the kick and it's going to go high. Riley here to kick it away for the Riverhawks. It'll be another throw in here for the Bears. Under a minute left to go. See if they can make some magic happen. Again, spoil the shutout here for Ridgeline. Hunter Gaines ready to throw in, gets the offense set up. Headed off a ridge line. Giants again with the throw in. Try to lead somebody in. There's a kick that's gonna go wide right. Ball controlled by Ridgeline. And that is going to be it. So Ridgelines will sweep Bear River. And again, a big matchup come Saturday here at Mountain Crest. It'll be Ridgeline and the Mustangs taking on each other to figure out who's going to take home region. So your Entertain Polymer Group game wrap up again. They're looking to hire with competitive wages and good benefits. Good, comfortable working environment there at Entertain Polymer Group. We started in the first half with Diego. He had the lone goal for the sophomore in the first half. And Salome would net one, Ogilvy. And Johnson and Diego will net another one for the Riverhawks, giving you a final score in this one. Ridgeline 5, Bear River 0. Again, we'd like to thank all our sponsors here on your screen for making this happen. We've got a lot more spring sports for you. And it'll all start once again next week right here at Ridgeline taking on the Lady Hawks. Bear River comes over here and plays a little bit of softball. We'd like to thank the Piedum, Caldwell Banker, Greer's Do It Best Hardware, Twisted Sugar, Advanced Integrated Systems, Great Basin Industrial, Kent's Market, Tanglewood Studios, Cover Up, Lincoln Financial, West Liberty Foods, Frank Mescadu, BRB News, The Valley Headliner, your true local source for local news, Chen Shershot Farms, Academy Mortgage, Todd Miller for our Miller Medical Report, and medical moments. I'd like to thank the Grill, Entertain Polymer Group, CNR for your replays. I'd like to thank SodaFix, KSLSports.com, Red Funeral Homes, and Jared Summers at Farmers Insurance, keeping you covered for auto home and life. And last but not least, American Secure Title. No more, it's a U.S. title. But again, Jenny Goring still there to help you out your title needs and we'd like to thank them for being your goal sponsors bears unable to get one against the river hawks we'll regroup and try again next week spring sports keep rolling on here go keep an eye on our website 
BeerLivestream.com. See if things change a little bit more like they did this week. It's probably be a good idea to go subscribe to the YouTube channel so you'll get notifications of when we go live or when things change. But have a good Easter weekend. That'll be it for us here at Bear River Live. We will catch you again for fingers crossed weather-wise. Hopefully Lady Bear Softball with a big matchup back over here at Ridgeline to take on the Lady Hawks. Your final on this one, Ridgeline 5, Bear River 0. You've been watching Bear River Live.